Hey Zelda fans, Triforce Heroes launched this past Friday and I hope you're all having a great time playing it with your friends. I'm Amanda Van Heil with Zelda Universe and you're watching Zelda News. Last week, Nintendo gave fans the chance to vote for what questions to ask the Triforce Heroes developers and they have answered. One question was, where does Triforce Heroes fall in the Zelda timeline? According to developers, Triforce Heroes takes place a few years after the events in A Link Between Worlds and features the same hero who has traveled to the Kingdom of Hytopia. Being the celebrity that he is, after saving both Hyrule and Low Rule, he dresses incognito so no one will recognize him. So that's where the costumes come into play. As far as the other two candidates, no word on their origin. Fans also asked, what happened to Purple Link from Four Swords Adventure? The answer? He's taking a break. They explained that Purple Link was a clone created by the power of the Four Sword, but the three characters in this game are hero candidates and different from the Link and Four Sword Adventures. The developers also reasoned that controlling three worked best for the game design. Nintendo posted Triforce Heroes developers posed in pom-pom icon style, and I recommend everybody save this image and pull it up anytime you're in a bad mood. You can't not smile when you're looking at it. Nintendo also challenged fans to recreate the image better than the developers did. I hope one day I can look as adorable as Mr. Alnuma as a cheerleader. Triforce Heroes! Triforce Heroes is primarily a co-op game, but you can also play it single player. However, originally it was strictly co-op only, but then Triforce Heroes producer Elnuma asked the game's director, Hiro Masa Shikara, if it could have a single player version as well. Shikara was so set on a fun three player game that the idea of playing it single player wasn't even something he was considering. In fact, he was against the idea at first, but then he and Elnuma talked about it and realized a single player version could actually work. Here at Zelda Universe, we recently launched a brand new series, the Zelda Mailbag. Each week, the host will answer one of your questions. On our very first episode, hosted by Alex Rosenberg, he answers, why is Leek's tunic green? And explains by analyzing many of the games, along with a little bit of history from Miyamoto. A new Zelda Mailbag premieres every Wednesday, and be sure to subscribe to Zelda Universe TV on YouTube so you don't miss an episode. Well, that's all the Zelda news for this week. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Amanda Van Heil with Zelda Universe, and I'll see you next week.